Hi, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, what we're going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to teach you how to use particles to create a fireworks effect. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is we need to create an emitter. So let's go ahead and make sure we're on our dynamics here. And we're going to go to, let's see here, effects, nope, where are we? Fields, fluid, particles, here we go. Create emitter, boom, okay. And we're going to adjust some of these settings here. We're going to highlight it. We're going to go to our attribute editor. And we're going to change the speed to about 7. And if we hit play right now, okay. We don't want this. This is too much. <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to have it uh, shooting out fireworks, not shooting out a whole mess of particles. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to have to change the uh, per particle rate. Right here, the rate per particle, we're just going to put in one. There it is. It's hard to see. Let's see, it's around here somewhere along the x-axis. We could reach it if we go to Window Outliner. We go to Particle 1. Yeah, it's, it's, in, it's there somewhere. Can't really tell where it is. Uh, what we need to do is, it's along the x-axis right now. If you look at the emitter, and we go to Direction, we're going to go to here. Instead of Omni, we're actually going to go to Directional. Uh, what we want to do is we want to make the direction on the x-axis zero. That means it won't go on the x-axis. The direction on the y-axis one. And we want to do a spread of about <clears throat> 35 degrees. Or one. Uh, one will be 100 degrees, so we could do like point 35. Now when we hit play, We don't see the particle. Let's let's change something real quick here. We'll change this to seven. There we go. Okay, it's better. Okay, so make sure your particle emission rate's seven, not one. And the speed could be seven as well. Um, let's do about two hundred frames to see what this thing's looking like. That's good. Whoops. That's good. I think the uh, speed's a little too high. So let's fix that. So we're going to highlight the emitter, go to speed, and we'll put the speed to about, let's try 3.5. Okay. And I'm going to turn down those emissions just a bit. I'm going to put it to like 4. Let's try one. That's weird. It's working now. Okay, this is perfect. This is exactly what we want. So it's basically, if you could imagine, this is just kind of shooting particles off here. Perfect. Okay. Wonderful. So again, just to review, just create an emitter. Get a particle going. And what we want to do is we want the emitter type to be directional. That'll actually allow us to shoot a particle in a direction. <clears throat> then we want the rate of particle per second to be uh, one. That just means you're going to launch one. You could maybe do two particles a second. Cycle emissions we're going to get into later, not, not in this tutorial. Uh, direction Y, one, what that does is it shoots objects up. And what the spread does is this will make it about a 35 degree spread <clears throat> from 90. Okay, um, so again, the larger the spread, the further it will be out. Like for example, if you put 0.8, Watch what will happen. You kind of get the whole thing here. Is this? Oh, it didn't even work. 0.35 is fine. 0.4 maybe. Okay. Now let's go ahead and set up the uh, the second part of the part tutorial. Okay. Uh, so what we're gonna do now is in the emitter one we did that. 
Change the particle shape to spheres. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. If you're wondering, I am reading off notes because it's a lot to remember. So we're going to go to where it says particle shape one here. And we're going to change them to spheres. Where is that? Right there. And their radius obviously is too high. And let's play it and see how that looks. That's cool. That works. Okay. You can even put a little lower, like 0.1. That's a little too small. 0.15. All right. Mess around <clears throat> until you get something that you're comfortable with. Um, we're going to put the lifespan to 2 and the random range to 1. Let me explain what this does. The lifespan to 2 means the last a maximum of 2 seconds on the screen. That's uh, If you're playing at 24 frames per second, that's 48 frames. And what you do is when you put uh, 0 0.5, you're putting a half a second variability in between where they live. So now you'll notice after 2 seconds they're going to die. See, they disappear. Okay. All right. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to select one of these particles. Then we're going to go to part, we're going to select this, this guy. <clears throat> and then we're going to go to your dynamics menu, excuse me. And you're going to go to particles, emit from particle. Emit from object option. The type we're going to do Omni and the rate will do a thousand and the speed will do five okay and then create and let's see what this did all right, that's looking kind of weird, so we have to fix that. Okay, what we're going to do so it's kind of going all over the place here. We don't want that. So I'm going to go to my emitter too. You could always go to your window outliner for this. It's right here, window outliner. I'm going to go to my emitter too. It's interesting because there's an emitter within the particle. That's that's cool. That's how we, how we set it up. And uh, we could play around with the... I'm actually going to mess around. I'm going to put directional here. I actually want it to go in the Y direction. <clears throat> so for this, I'm going to put negative 1. No, it doesn't work. Let's see. 1, 0. Let's do spread as point three. Let's see how this is going to work. That's what we want, but they're going the wrong way. That's cool. That looks good. But since we can't make this negative, we have to come up with a different solution. Can we? Yes. Negative one. There we go. Okay, this is what we want. We're going to go to emitter 1 here and put our direction here to 1. Somehow the emitter 1's direction, got, that's perfect. Okay, that's what we want. See that? That looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our emitter 2 here and play around a little bit with the lifespan.
I think that'll be under particle two actually. No. All right. Sorry about that. Let me just figure this out. Okay. For some reason, the lifespan is hooked to the the other one. No, whatever. It's fine. No worries. Oh, there it is. It's under particle shape two. Particle shape two has a lifespan. We're going to go to random range, and we're going to put this to uh, 2, and we'll put 0.5. So that means it'll live for 2 seconds max, and I'll have a 0.5 second variability. See, they're dying off now? That's what we want. This is beautiful. It's perfect. Okay, wonderful. Alrighty. So now that that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and... What we need to do is we need to make the explosion on the top. Um, I don't have enough time left in this video, so I'm going to pause this now and actually do another video. Just to recap what we did real quick, we created an emitter down here that launched off clouds, particle one. Then we selected particle one, and we went to your, uh, let's see here, particles, emit from object, and we used, let's take a look at emitter two here, and we used a... emitter two right there we used a directional emitter and we put the uh, y direction to point negative one so it'll actually um, you'll get particles that are shooting out of the bottom of the rocket that's all we did really um, we messed around with the lifespans just remember when you go to lifespan it's under the particle shape itself you can mess around with the points here these might look better actually as multi streaks and then you could mess around with the tail length and all like that, tail fade. Nah, that doesn't look good. Let's just keep it the way it was. Points is fine. Okay, anyway, so that's what we did. Um, we're going to end the video now, and then we're going to finish this up.